Before we start with the main video, I would like to thank you ShiftSync for being the main video sponsor for today. I love communities. You can meet with like-minded people to exchange on specific topics and learn something new. In case you missed it, there is a great new community out there waiting for you to join for free. It's called ShiftSync, a place for testers, developers and DevOps specialists and others if you like so. The goal of ShiftSync is to create a dynamic and engaging space for developers, testers and industry leaders to share knowledge and grow professionally. Quality is more than testing and such sharing with collaboration will help improve the software, de software development lifecycle on every stage. From a security point of view, code writing, defining requirements or accelerating performance and setting up high functioning development teams. ShiftSync is a community for anyone and everyone interested in all aspects of quality engineering, from left to right across the software development spectrum. You can engage in, with relevant end users, practitioners, testers, developers, developer, DevOps specialists, software administrators or product managers. You can find relevant content such as blog posts, discussions, roundtables or webinars. The community creates uh, created also added gamification to solve missions and challenges to earn points and to rank with the community members. So that's a great thing. Make sure to sign up, use the link in the video description and to start your community collaboration today and find like-minded people to exchange your knowledge, share your knowledge and grow your skill set as of today. Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Software Testing. My name is Daniel Knott and I'm happy that you're here. In today's video, I, will look, I would like to talk about the topic why people think that software testing is an easy job. Maybe you have heard it yourself already throughout your career or when you like to go into software testing, you have heard from people, ah, software testing is easy, everybody can do it. It's, it's just some monkey work, right? Some clicking, typing, tapping on a screen, following stupid steps that doesn't make any sense maybe and everybody can do it but well of course I've heard those phrases um, in the last 15 years when working with customers when working with other developers when working with other stakeholders so and in this video I would like to talk about like why do people think in that direction and I have I have some points actually and that I would like to share with you today and maybe you have mentioned, not mentioned, but maybe you have seen the same things in your career as a software tester and it would be great if you can share them with us as well in the comments or let me know in on my social media channels for example. So so why do people have this wrong perception? I mean I've seen that in my career as I just said and one of the first thing that I have uh, that is coming to my mind when, when thinking about a topic is that people um, they have missing knowledge about software testing. So they just don't know what the, the role of a software tester uh, is and how challenging it can be in order to you know, test software, ask questions, use critical thinking, and they just don't know what to do with software testers maybe. I mean, I have seen this, this uh, problem with people in, in management positions, for, for example. So in case you have an engineering manager in your team or in your company, and that this person is in charge of some software testers and this person has an, a pure development background and never worked with uh, software testers in his or her career, they might be missing a knowledge about software testing and how software testing has been done right. So this could be like a, a misleading uh, information about software testing so that they can think, well, software testing is just clicking, you know, tapping, doing stuff, we don't need it, let's automate it. So, so the first thing that I think uh, why people think that software testing is easy is the missing knowledge that they have. So if they would do their homework, talk to people, they would know that software testing is much more than just clicking and tapping. Um, the second thing that I have seen over the course of the years is that um, false information in the development industry. This is tightly connected to missing knowledge about testing, but um, false information means that there is a person who has heard from somebody else that software testing is the most boring job and the most easy thing in the world to do. Uh, again, this is um, from people that have no idea about how software development should look like, what a good product or good 
development process is, uh, should look like and how valuable software testing can be uh, throughout the whole software development cycle and why it's important to have those people on board. And so yeah, it's false information. So this is the really tightly connected as to the first topic as I just mentioned. Um, this the third thing that, that I was thinking about and while preparing for that video was like, maybe those people with that wrong perception, they are working in a, maybe in an easy, simple product. Yeah, so maybe it's an easy website, an easy app, or I don't know, or they never had any issues on, on their site. It's unlikely, but maybe they were in a lucky position that they never had any critical topics, no performance issues, no users complaining, uh, no, no crashes, no nothing like that has immediate attention from the stakeholders, from customers, and maybe also not from, from the boss or from the, from the upper level management. So maybe they were lucky or at the same time they were lucky because they this person is working with a really smart software developers who have already a quality mindset. That's great actually, that's perfect. Uh, if developers really care about quality and, and so this could also be one thing by why people think that software testing is easy because they never had any critical things. Because when, when I talk to customers and also when worked in other companies and uh, I, I, I work with people with that perception, they never worked in a, an environment where a critical bug or a critical thing occurred because usually then when something really, when really like something hit the fan and uh, they are keen in quality, they would like to find the person who is in charge of that bug or who is, who can we judge and you know, this kind of attitude. And usually then uh, in, in worst case scenarios, let's say you have some reputation change or money loss or so, they start to, to rethink their approach and then they might want to have software testers on board as well. So this could be like the a, a third area where I think that people um, have the wrong understanding of software testing. Um, on the other side, also one thing that I was thinking of, maybe these kind of people were working with weak or new software testers maybe. Yeah? Maybe this person on the job uh, or on the team has done um, a not so good job so to say, right? This person might be good as a software tester, but he or she is not good in communicating what he or she is doing in the team and for the team. And is also not exchanging with the developers in the team, like sharing the testing ideas, sharing the test data, sharing the, the, uh, the critical questions, or it's not part of refinement meetings, it's not adding the value to the team. And this is for me a sign of, yeah, of somebody with low exp with less experience and also with like limited communication skills and all of this combined can give the outside world like the developers or the stakeholders customers managers whoever is, is part of the team um, the give can give them the feeling like well, the software testing person is just like yeah it's quiet he or she is doing what we are telling him or her to do and so this might be this, this misconception, misconception uh, going on as well, that software testing is an easy stuff to do. So whenever you, you get this as feedback, maybe, maybe ask yourself like, hmm, maybe I should be more transparent on the things that I'm doing. I mean, look around software developers, usually they go to review meetings and show what they have done the last weeks. And we can do the same as testers. We can show like how we are generating the test data or what kind of testing activities will you have done and so forth and so forth. So be as transparent as possible on your role and on your job. And with that, you will be like the, the perfect quality advocate for your team and for the company. And this will also strengthen up your, your skills and your reputation in the company. And people will easy forget like, hey, about this in initial phrase of software testing is an easy job. Yeah, because they know now what are you actually doing and what they would miss in case you're not here. Um, the, the last point that is, yeah, that's coming to my mind when thinking about a question is that people think software testing is easy is that, hey, let's automate everything. Let's automate testing. Yeah. And this is also really a bad mis misconception about testing that, yeah, testing can be automated. I mean, developing uh, development can also not be automated, right? I mean, we cannot do some automation or like for development, of course, we can do some, some code generation in order to, to do some tedious jobs as well. But we have the similar thing for test cases in our industry as well. So uh, software testing can't be automated. Of course, we as testers should use, you should use automation in order to 
um, have more time to do the, or to tackle the really tricky and nasty parts in software testing. So we should use automation to enable others to, to work on the, on the hard challenges. Yeah. So, um, this is a, a bad, bad misconception about testing that testing can be automated. I mean, that's not true. Yeah. Because the script that you are automating is just doing what you are telling the script to do. And this script is not looking left and right and it's not part of refinement, it's not using critical thinking and is, is judging what he or she, what a tester is seeing basically. And so testing cannot be automated. Yeah, It should be used, it should be a tool in your toolbox, but it should never replace a software tester. Whenever there's a company who thinks that way, they will learn the hard way in the long run that this is not the case because yeah, it's just not possible, it's stupid. Yeah, and these were the, the five points that are coming to my mind when talk, when thinking about like, why do people think that software testing is easy? And actually, um, what should you do basically? Yeah, what should you do? I mean, I, I just mentioned before is, you should be like as transparent as possible about your work that you are doing in your team, in the company. Make it transparent, be part of the refinement meetings, um, be part of review, present your work, uh, showcase your work in maybe brown bag lunches to show how you implemented a, a certain testing scenario, how you do test data generation, how you mitigated risk. Um, maybe you can do some risk storming activities within your team, organize bug bashes uh, to, you know, to do some test sessions. You use mob testing in your team. Do lots of things around your job, not just like, you know, hide behind your keyboard and, and try to, to uh, do whatever you can do in terms of testing the application. No, you should go out and like, you know, be proud of what you're doing. And this will completely eliminate this really weird misconception about software testing that is an easy job. And yeah, that's something that you should do from my point of view. Um, it would be really nice if you can leave me a comment. What do you think? Why do people think that software testing is an easy job? Let me know in the comments below. I would happy to, to read it out. Um, yeah, as always, leave me a thumbs up, leave a subscription and thank you. Bye bye.